Welcome to the University of North Texas Percussion Family. I'm Mark Ford, Coordinator of Percussion here at UNT, and we're very excited to hear your upcoming audition. Today I'm going to be speaking primarily about the percussion keyboard auditions. However, all of the auditions relate to many different degrees. Some of you may be auditioning for music education, some for performance, jazz studies, composition, and other music degrees. Before you take your first step, be sure to read all of the instructions and regulations regarding auditions, whether you're submitting videos uh, remotely or if you're going to be giving a live audition. So who are we at North Texas? We're part of the largest college of music in the United States. We have decades and decades of progressive, innovative work regarding percussion performance and percussion education. We're excited that you're uh, interested in our school, and we can guarantee you that if you come with an open mind and work hard, then you're going to be on the road to success. Let me tell you just a little bit about our students. Out of 140 percussion students, we have about eight or 10 that are graduate students. So the other 130 or so are undergraduate students. We are primarily teaching undergraduate students at North Texas. So the audition basics about keyboard percussion. You're gonna be performing on two and four mallets. You wanna pick a piece of music with your private instructor that you feel best projects your potential and also your background in music. Sometimes a, an easier piece, if you will, played very musically with a great sense of musical direction outpaces a piece that's more difficult but yet played not so well. So choose your music wisely. With your two mallet piece, you can choose an orchestral excerpt. You can also choose an etude or solo, but it doesn't have to be lengthy. We're talking a minute, minute and a half or so is fine. We need to see you perform with two mallets. In a second here, I'm gonna show you some basics about uh, technique with two mallets. So take that into consideration. And also now while I'm bringing this up, there's an excellent PDF on our UNT percussion webpage for the auditions entitled Tips for Percussion Keyboard Auditions. Download that now, check it out, read it, see how it applies to how you're practicing. Record yourself regularly. If you're gonna be a great musician, you need to be a great listener. And you know who you should be listening to the most? You should be listening to yourself. As you listen back to your recording, have the score with a pencil. Mark in anything that you feel you missed or things that you see but you don't hear. For example, the score says piano marking, but it seems kind of loud. Mark it. Make sure that you can hear everything that's defined by the composer on the score. In order to reach those, that composer's intentions, you have to be able to deliver that detail. Be focused on the detail on the page and listen critically and often. Recording yourself is not something you're going to do once a week or once every two weeks. No, you could record four bars, eight bars every day and really refine what you're trying to present in your audition or in a, for a performance. I always get questions about scales. How many scales should we know? Well, you're gonna be a musician. You need to know them all. All 12 major and minor scales. On the UNT webpage for auditions, it says on the video auditions, you only need to supply three major and three minor scales and arpeggios. As you perform and practice your music, think about the tone the expression, and the musical direction that you're presenting. You want your music to have personality and character. So as you listen through those recordings, be focused in on tone projection and expression as well. This is very important. I always get a lot of questions about UNT and the size of our percussion program. Yes, it's a big studio, absolutely. About 140 students, as I mentioned. And we have 17 teachers. That includes graduate TAs, adjunct faculty, and full-time faculty. And the faculty here are outstanding, world-class performers and teachers. Again, we have up to 17 teachers. So we have a lot of teachers to work from. And at UNT, we don't take just one lesson a week. We take two lessons a week. So that you can work timpani with Christopher Dean or myself with, on keyboards, or you could be working with Ed Smith on Jazz Vibes while you're also taking drum set with Quincy Davis or Stockton Helving or the other fine drum set teachers. 
The idea here is it's diverse and you need to take advantage of all of these opportunities for yourself. So who you study with is gonna be faculty based and you're gonna have a lot of experience working with so many different people, you're gonna be stronger for it in the end. As you prepare for your two mallet audition, consider how you're holding the mallets. At UNT, we often see students that hold the mallet too far back on the shaft. This allows for too much length and too much weight in front of the hand. This makes the player feel unbalanced and uncomfortable. If we take a look at a xylophone mallet like this uh, IP, a Christopher Lamb mallet, you can see that it is a good bit shorter than my marimba mallet. Now why is that? This mallet is designed for two mallet performance and the marimba mallet is designed for four mallet performance. Taking the xylophone mallet and holding it as you would if you were gonna play on the xylophone and then compare it that with the marimba mallet, then you can see that if you shift that over, you're about 50% up the mallet. Now you're gonna be closer to the instrument you're gonna have better tone projection and better control. So choke up on the mallets to help you feel more comfortable. Another good analogy, just so you know, back and when I was a kid, I played uh, baseball, uh, Little League baseball, and my coach, when I had problems batting and hitting the ball, he would tell me to choke up on the bat. Why would he tell me to do that? It's because he gives me better control and better balance. And the same thing will happen with you. Put your hand at the back of the mallet, and just wiggle the mallet and feel the weight. Now as you move that mallet up in your hand, you're gonna to start to feel that weight, uh, feel more comfortable, and you're gonna find that sweet spot. That's where you wanna be performing with your two mallet etude. We look forward to your audition. Remember, dedicated, consistent practice will help you reach your goals. Good luck. <laughs>